Hi everyone, and this is the blue butterfly that I painted in watercolor and I'm going to share all of the colors that I use for this tutorial, mainly the blues and I use some black but I mix a bit of blue in there so it's not just plain black and the brand is Mission Magello Gold Watercolors so these are the blues, the peacock blue is absolutely beautiful I use some nickel as a yellow, I also use a touch of orange just for those orange little bits there and then I use for the black just a touch of blue in. So let's start. You need a small little brush for the fine little detail. I talk you through all of these details or supplies while we're painting on Patreon. And then I just paint in all of the sections first that I want in and I sort of jump from spot to spot, add detail here and there so that I can see basically how the butterfly is going to turn out. And with the black, I try not to use just paints grey, I mix in some of the blue with the paint grey just to change it up and give it a little bit of interest and I changed it up so that it's not just black on the paper. You can also mix your own black, just use the three primary colours and you can get a beautiful black that I painted in that Tyson tutorial with the dog. So you can also use those three colours to get your basic black colours for this butterfly if you don't want to use just plain grey. Other than that, you can just sit back and relax. I sped up the video in certain parts, but if you do want to join us on Patreon, we have the line drawing, we have the reference photos, and all the supplies that you will need for this tutorial, all linked there that you can download and keep for yourself forever. So I also want to make sure that the body is more 3D, so I go in with a much darker color there. The brushes are, I use a very fine brush and then I also use a brush, I would say a number four or five for, but with a nice point for all of the other details. And then I want to use transparent watercolors or semi-transparent watercolors, I would say. Most of them were transparent or semi-transparent. And then I want to make sure that I layer and layer so that the bottom layers can shine through the top layers. That is what I paint like all the time with all of my watercolor tutorials. And this is the black that I used for the bottom of the butterfly. So it's not just completely black. I also used an ink pen, which is waterproof for the finer details on the wings. And that made such a difference but for the tutorial, I actually painted in a lot of the lines that you won't see because I didn't show it on here except for this part. But mainly the, the final lines on the butterfly was painted in and then I went over with a black archival ink pen. This is where I use the waterproof paint for the fine little details on the wing. Make sure that it is waterproof because if it's not waterproof and you paint over it, it will flood the paper and make a big mess. You do get waterproof pens, so get one for you. And what I did was I like to layer my painting with layers of layers of watercolor and you can see all of the markings on the wings. And that is what I want. I want certain sections to not have a darker blue over it, I want to show the colors, the lighter colors underneath and then I go over with a darker color and this is why I love transparent watercolors. Now if you love watercolors or you're a beginner, don't go out and just buy watercolors immediately. Do your homework and check what transparent watercolors does, what opaque or semi-opaque watercolors does. It makes a big difference in your watercolors. You will also notice that I started to paint in the black and I first painted uh, my first layer and then I go over with the next layer darkening it all the time and as I get closer to the end where I have to add in all of the detail 
you will notice that on my palette my paint is a lot thicker so it's more creamy it's like a custard it's very thick and then if i need to wet it a little bit i just drop a drop of water on there to activate the paint again because it is summer so watercolors dry differently certain times of the year wherever you are in the world if it's winter your watercolors will dry slower if it's very hot and humid it will dry slower if it's very hot and dry it will dry much quicker so always take that in consideration i always wait for each day to dry completely before i carry on with the next layer so that i don't create muddy colors if you would like to join us on patreon we share a lot of details on there and i like to talk a lot about everything and the process that i follow to painting watercolors i love to paint flowers birds fruit veggies i love to paint animals insects so go and have a look at my patreon page i will link it down below also i use a very fine brush for a lot of the detail that i'm painting in at this stage creating those little dots i use my brush and then i also use the archival ink pen i just found it made it a little bit more easier to create those details but you don't have to use the pen if you don't want to watercolor is all about fun so do what you want do what you feel is right at the time and just paint let's paint that is our motto for this year it's let's paint uh, just something that i want to talk about very quickly for this month i want to thank everyone for all of their support during this month and I really really appreciate it and i will make sure that some of my future videos will be slightly longer like a lot of them were but this month i just wanted to take some time and deal with the loss of mr d he was a very big part of my life and he was <laughs> it happened so quickly we did not expect it at all and in my next tutorial that i am posting he actually came to me quite often i didn't realize that there was something wrong at the time we just thought that he had um uh you know a glaucoma and it wasn't glaucoma it was actually um his heart that was busy failing so it was very hard to deal with that so i hope you enjoy this tutorial i hope you will follow me on patreon and join in the fun we do have a, a three dollar tier where I provide line drawings now with the supplies list and some of the colors and it's easy if you don't want to join the eight US dollar tier. I want to thank everyone for all your kind words and your wishes for um, Mr. Mr. T and also for me dealing with all of this. It was um, not a fun time at all, I can't even talk about it but believe me my next tutorial will be ready for Patreon. He encouraged me to create more art and we will share a lot more of our little family dog family um, in my tutorials because they are part of my life i do paint at home my studio is in the house and they always come and play with me while i'm painting but this is just where i darken the butterfly again and i would like to know what you would like me to paint next time maybe in the comments below so share with me what you would like me to paint next i sometimes get a lot of requests on patreon but also would like to know maybe what my students on youtube would like me to paint and um yes have fun look after yourself play with your dog take them for a walk if you can if you're in a place where you can take them for a walk give them love if you have a cut just pat them all day uh, if you have a bird, whatever pet you have, just give them love. I will see you again with another tutorial. The next one is a beautiful bird that we will be painting. That is also for my garden. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.